Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series of software engineering course. As uh, already a term we are continuously using that is software metrics. And uh, software metrics can be measured in terms of the size of the software. And there are two important ways to calculate the size of the software. The first one is lines of code. It means that we counted the number of lines used in any application and on that basis I can estimate the size of the software. But this kind of methodology won't be very effective because it may vary from programming language to another programming language. If I write some program in C and that program consists of four or five lines of code and the same program in Python can be uh, computed the same task in one line or in the two line. So on the basis of the lines of code, I cannot estimate the size of the complexity. And because of this limitation in lines of code, we do have another software metrics which can calculate the size of the software that is called function point analysis. And now the question is what is basically the function point is. Generally the function point is the unit of measurement that defines the functionality of the software system. Right? And that functionality doesn't mean that uh, the performance of the software system, the rate of response of some application uh, is less or is high, its performance is good or bad. These are not considered to be the functionality of the software system, which considers to be the unit of measure as function point. But here, Actually, function point analysis in terms of function point can be considered as the unit of measurements of the defined functionality of the software system. So let me uh, introduce the function point analysis, which, is, which has been developed, developed by Alan Albert. Alan Albert, uh, which published this uh, function point analysis in 1979. And Alan Albert, according to his principle of function point analysis, it says that any software application or system can be decomposed into five important functional units. So first one is external input, external output, external inquiries, internal logical files, external interface files. So basically function point analysis measures the size of the software on the basis of how users use the software systems through the functionality in terms of exchanges, in terms of queries, in terms of processing. So this is the way we can actually estimate the size or we can actually estimate the metrics of the software. So if I describe all these function points, so as everybody knows that any software system has a defined logical boundary around it or basically this logical boundary defines the individual business needs that may vary organization to organization and every application has a data storage. Each application has some data storage and this data storage basically called the logical files. You know that. And some of the logical files are surrounding around the boundaries of the software system. So these kind of data are called internal logical files, right? And so most of the times some Another application used the data or some another application used, uh, we are using some another applications or another application used the, used the data from the application which is going to major. So such kind of files are called external interface files, which is in short EI. And 
you know that multiple users generally use the software systems so the users which actually input data to the applications so such kind of functionality defines as the external inputs right some users that can uh, some users that can be only querying and the display is going on so such kind of actually uh, such kind of functionality can be defined in terms of external inquiries but most of the time when there is an uh, there is a complex processing or there is some fetching uh, results uh, came come out from this complex processing such kind of functionality can be defined as external outputs so basically whenever we need to define the functional point analysis and we need to define function points so according to allen who described under the function point analysis these five important functionalities of the systems so all these five functionalities of the systems may be have some weighing factor so the complexity of these function functional points can be the low can be the medium or average can be the high so it varies from application to application maybe some applications function points are average some applications function points are uh, very high uh, the complexity is very high so that may vary from application to application the question arises over here how do we calculate the function points so initially we should actually rank the function point on the basis of its complexity so as i told you there are three levels of complexity defined first is low second is average and third is high and all that weighing factor there are some predefined weighing factors which actually already has been a standard defined weighing factors so for external input the low weighing factor is 3 average is 4 high is 6 in the same manner for external output low is 4 average is 5 high is 7 for external inquiries low is 3 average is 4 and high is 6 for internal logical files low is 7 average is 10 and high is 50 for external interface files low is 5 average is 7 and high is 10 so ab we need to calculate the ufp which is called adjustment function points because once we know the complexity level of the function points then it is important to calculate the adjustment uh, unadjusted function points which which is actually equal to the summation of the product of function points with its weighing functions so it is important ki if i do have some external input for example for any uh, for any uh, application if i do have an external input of 2 for example 2 and that application is average so we do have the 2 into 5 that is 10 so in this form we are calculating all right for example external input there would be some external input there is some complexity level of the application so we would calculate the summation of the product of all the function points with its weighing factor as simple as that so by this way we can calculate the unadjusted function points now there are uh, some general system characteristics any software any application can be generalized by these 14 uh, characteristics so first one data communication distributed data processing performance heavily used configuration transaction rate online data entry end user efficiency online update complex processing reusability installation ease operational ease multiple sites or facilitation change so these are the general system characteristics any application could have not necessary all the 14 characteristics any application could have it may have 5 10 
इलेवन एनी नंबर ऑफ तो अगेन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स में वेरी एप्लीकेशन टू एप्लीकेशन मे बी सम एप्लीकेशन डज नॉट प्रोवाइड ऑनलाइन डेटा एंट्री मे बी सम एप्लीकेशन डज नॉट प्रोवाइड ऑनलाइन अपडेशन मे बी सम कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड मल्टीपल साइट्स सो दिस मे वेरी एप्लीकेशन टू एप्लीकेशन बट फॉर डिफाइनिंग फॉर इवेलुएटिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर मेट्रिक्स वी शुड नो वॉट आर दीज characteristics so it can be generalized as 14 characteristics and these 14 characteristics can be ranked on the scale of 0 to 5 means ki how these characteristics affect or, or influence the software application software or application so if the value is 0 that means the characteristics has no influence on the software system if value is 1 that could be incidental influence if 2 moderate influence if 3 average influence if 4 significant influence if 5 essential influence means it has a high effect on the uh, software or the application so these are actually called the degree of influence so we need to calculate firstly the total degree of influence so total degree of influence can be the sum of all the general system characteristics that is summation of all 14 of uh, degree of influence again it is not necessary for every application we calculated all 14 if it is not mentioned in the a uh, question so obviously by default i will consider all 14 but if it is mentioned ki these are the characteristics which uh, which actually follows my any application or which provides by any application then we need to calculate the total uh, degree of influence by that manner now the next step we need to calculate value adjustment factor and for the value adjustment factor we do have the formula TDI means total uh, degree of influence into 0.01 into 0.65, and if I need to calculate the function point, then function point could be equal to the unadjusted function point, which already we have calculated from here on the basis of the functionality uh, considers in the of any software system. into value adjustment factor that has been calculated on the basis of the general characteristics of the system so higher the function point could be higher the effort any software system would required so it is important once the function point comes in some number form and as higher as the function point could be as much effort as much as effort any software or application required also if i calculate the function point i can easily calculate the productivity the cost the uh, documentation also so for the productivity we could have function point upon the person months for the cost we could have rupees upon the function points for documentation we do have the number of pages per function points so if i evaluate the function point easily i can estimate the productivity the cost uh, which uh, the cost which can uh, be used in the software or we can easily calculate the documentation and other efforts also so our next uh, is i will calculate by uh, some i will calculate the function point by an example so my next is i i will uh, solve a numerical based on function point analysis so as you can see the question mentioned over here given the following values compute function point when the complexity adjustment factors and weighing factors are average generally complexity adjustment factors are these factors all the factors are average mentioned over here here given value is user input is 50 user out user input over here means external input external output 
external inquiry, which I already told you about it. So the name has been changed, but it doesn't make out the meaning. So user input 50, user output 40, user interface, sorry, user inquiries 35, user files, that is ILA, internal logical files, and external interface, that is EIF, right? It has been given over here, all the values or, or of the functionalities of any software system. In any software system, the user input is 50, user output is 40, user inquiry is 35. So we have already these values, right? Now I need to calculate firstly the UFP, unadjusted function point, which is equal to product of function point with weighing factors. So as you can see, UFP would be over here as all the function points are average. So I need to pick the average values from these weighing factors. So as you can see, the product of function point with weighing factor. So 50 user input average, sorry, external input average is 4 to into 4 plus external out, output 40 into 5 plus 35 into 4 plus 6 into 10 plus 4 into 7. So as you can see, these are the function points, product of function points with weighing factor and then summation of all these. So if I calculate the value is 628, as simple as that, right? So I have calculated the value as 628. Now uh, I have calculated UFP. Now for calculating the function points, I should have value adjustment factor. So firstly, I need to calculate the total degree of influence. As the uh, question says that all the complexity adjustment factors are also average. So we do have average as three, right? Uh, because the influence of all the, uh, ad all the factors are average. So what exactly we do? That means total, uh, total degree of influence is 14, into 3 that is 42 i hope you are getting because there is uh, they are saying ki if i have told you if they are not giving the general uh, the, giving few or the characteristics of the application then i need to consider all the 14 characteristics and all the 14 characteristics have a have an average influence on the application so 14 into 3 will be total degree of influence so obviously 42 would be the total degree influence. Now I need to put this value over here to calculate the value adjustment factor. So if I put the value over here, then TDI value is 42 into 0 0.01 into 0 0.65. So if I calculate the value, then I get 1.07 as the value adjustment factor right now i need to calculate the function point so function point ufp i have calculated at 628 into 1.07 so if i calculate this one so obviously the answer is 671.96 is the answer so that is the simple multiplication process in fact, you don't need for this uh, question, you don't need any calculator. But yes, uh, at, at one first glance, it would sound difficult. But don't get uh, confused with all these 14. You need to remind all these 14. You don't need to remind all these. You don't need to. You just need to know the weighing factors. And in most of the questions, weighing factor are also given, right? So hope you understand uh, today's function point analysis, uh, a very interesting uh, topic in software metrics. So if you do have any kind of query, you may write in the comment box. Definitely I will answer. So thank you students. Keep watching and listening.